Where are you going? That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. One day, yeah. I want to grow up and be just like Jesse. Oh. You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! I know. You're talking about Wall Market, aren't you? Like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh, no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. 
the teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way, you might get more work. It's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Ms. Foley is looking for you. Oh, man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. Sure would love another one. My lights have been on the... Get your hands on the hottest new set! Boy, it'd be great if they had to... Hi there, cute little doggy! Don't give up! The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh, yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money. The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. The Toad King wants to take over our hideout. He's mean and angry and smells bad too. So we Come on!
I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Stay back! Go on! It's over. Good night. Glad that's over. Bring it. Here we go. And yes, was never in doubt. Leave this to me. I don't think so. It's over. And no, not bad. Punch through. Right, we gotta hurry. Stay back! Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, 
chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. Wait! Stop running away! I want to become you strong just Come like on. you. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. 
Wanna play some Whack-A-Box? One way to become a whack a box master. Whack, whack, whack. We'll be here whenever you want to play. Come back when you want to smash stuff. He doesn't see me. Be quiet. Welcome, Koopa. Guys, I've got a whole mountain of Moogle medals now. Soon I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. 
The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgar love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopo. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic, Koopo? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Guardian Angel of the Slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The Angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. 
Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. You could see the sky? Of course. This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. I wish I could have helped you out the Sure you want to fight? That's that. Sorry. 
Keep it together. Here goes. I'm waiting. How did fight through it? Better in a second. Shake it off. Gotta heal first. Why don't you lead the way? Why don't you leave? 
the way. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, uh, gotta dig deep for this one. I'm coming. Let the winds caress you. Back in it. Tagging out. My turn. Hey, now you're in for it. You're out of luck. Don't overdo it. Here goes. Stay strong, okay? Come on. Of all the times. Gotta be careful. I'm just getting started. Oh, I can't believe you. You'll feel better in a second. This time. Feeling chilly? Need to heal up. What? Let's switch it up. So it's my turn? Okay, up and at him. You've got this. Of all the times. <laughs> Gotta be careful. No holding back. Going all out. Any last words? Let's do this. That's that. Okay, then. Guess we should look around. The guardian angel of the slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Believe it, you found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it, pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time, he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. <sighs> if the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! 
Don Corneo's no easy mark. I can't wait to see how this goes down. Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Try taking after Aerith, smiling more. Wow, really? 